Canadian customers are calling on the federal government to please deal with shrinkflation. Shrinkflation, you probably have experienced this, refers to when food producers put less food in a smaller package, but they charge the same price. So consumers are noticing this more lately and say it is unacceptable considering what we're paying for food prices. So uh, Mike Von Masso is a professor at Guelph University who studies food, agriculture and resource economics. He's joining us from Alora this morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So customers right across the country are posting their encounters with shrinkflation on social media. One user writing this, Campbell's Soup is another one experiencing shrinkflation. The new can fits inside the old can, contains less, costs more, feels like the sale price these days is the old regular price. Food companies say that they need to take these steps to offset rising production costs, but how much truth is there to that? Well, I think it's pretty clear that production costs and ingredient costs are going up. I mean, I think it's a bit disingenuous to say we have to do this. The other alternative is to raise prices on the existing packaging size. Uh, and there may be some pushback from retailers. This may, in fact, be a strategy to get around the pressure that retailers are putting on them not to increase price. Could also be just trying to compete in the category without getting more expensive. So, yes. Prices are going up, but this isn't the only strategy they have. Mike, you know what I think bothers consumers is that they try to package it the same. And so it's like, are you trying to pull a fast one on me? Look, I know when I'm getting less for what I'm paying. Well, I think I think it is, again, probably trying to wave our hands a little bit and say, oh, look, nothing's changed. The package looks the same. And in fact, in some cases, we've seen shrinkflation where the package is exactly the same size. It just has less in it. So yes. what's clear is, I think, that they're not being completely forthcoming. Now, in most grocery stores, you can see the unit price. It's it's really small. And, and some have argued we should make that bigger. Some have argued that that stores should tell us when that has changed. Uh, and, and maybe that makes that that has some merit, too. Yeah, I like the unit price idea a lot. Canada's food inflation in September was 5.8 percent. And that's down from the 6.9 percent it was in August. But it's still higher than the headline inflation rate of 3.8 percent. So how much of a cost could practices like shrinkflation actually have for consumers? Well, I think it's important to remember, Anne-Marie, that yes, the annual rate of inflation is still uh, higher, uh, food inflation is still higher, but we've actually seen price in price decreases in three of the last four months in food. It, we're, we're still just reflecting big price increases we saw uh, last year. Shrinkflation or lower prices for a smaller amount, unless we're eating less, doesn't do anything for our food budget. It just means that we have to buy, uh, we have to buy yeah. th that product more times, and so we are actually paying more per unit. Uh, but we're just sort of uh, being fooled into thinking that we're not, or clearly not being fooled into thinking we're not. I, again, I realize like that is the frustrating part for like grocery nomics. So you're going to charge me less for less product means I'm still paying more at the end of the day. What kind of precedent is there for notifying customers about the change in product size? Well, we've seen grocery stores in in other countries put you know, shelf talkers, a, a, a label on saying uh, different product, things have changed here. Uh, and so we haven't seen it in Canada, but uh, it's something that grocers could do. Uh, really, this may, in fact, as I said earlier, be a response to grocers telling companies that they can't take price increases, which we've heard all of the major grocers brag about when they spoke to the, when they spoke to parliament. It may be a way of sort of allowing them to take a price increase uh, in the face of pressure from grocers. Yeah, well, check your chip bags and check your cereal bags lately because it does feel like you're getting less for your money. Anyway, Mike, good to have well, you on today. Oh, sorry, what were you going to yeah, say? Thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, and in many cases, we are getting less. So That's bad news, Mike. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks, Anne-Marie. <laughs> have a great day. Yeah, I will. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.